Okay, I'm gonna stretch hip flexors first. So when Carly showed this to me, she was engaging the glutes on the rear leg. Drive the hips forward, which stretches this hip flexor. And it looked like her glute was getting under her. So I've been trying to do that. I feel like when I'm doing it this way, the more I can get my hips under me up here, I'm, so I'm trying to brace my core, the, uh, the more I can get my hips under me up here, and this is already stretching my hip flexor. The, the less I have to do down low, the less stress from the back there is down low. I don't want any. So that's feeling all right. Bracing my core. I'm gonna start descending. This knee starts coming out over the toes on the front leg. There are ants around me. still bracing. I don't want any stress on my lower back. I'm really not engaging my, my glute back here yet. I'm still stretching without doing that. I just kind of go by feel here. If it, if it feels good, if I don't feel any stress on my lower back, I'll go ahead and engage my glute. And I'll go like three, two to four seconds on, probably like two, three seconds on, then come off a little bit and then do that again. This is just on and off with this rear glute. I check it with the back of my hand sometimes. Make sure that it feels like it's actually coming under me some. I usually have a clock and I'll do it for about a minute and a half, two minutes aside, but my phone's videoing right now. This sucks. I feel like I'm starting to lose it. So, and by that I mean, I'm starting to feel it in my lower back a little bit. So I'll just start over. If I had the doorway, I'd be like this, with my arms against the doorposts, and then I can also do it like this and like this. I haven't ever felt like I've gotten much out of this one, so. I do that, and when I don't have a doorway, I'll just do this. Still engaging that glute about three seconds, then coming off a little bit. And the goal there is to be able to get more stretch over time. All right. Uh, I guess I'll put a side view real quick. Again, does it need to be this this big of a lunge step? I don't know. All right. I do this one because I think it's my left leg was sticking out farther than my right. So I do a single leg bridge uh, on that left leg while pushing on my right. So, Brace, then bridge. The only difference is I'm gonna pull my knee up. Bridge comes from the glute, just like normal. Now I'm pushing against my knee as I'm trying to pull it up to my chest. So five seconds, I do five of those. All right, side to side knees now. This is supposed to be a movement drill where I'm focusing on getting my knees side to side, not so much on trying to brace and maintain any particular posture while also moving my knees. So, similar position to the bridging. With the bridging though, 
for what I was doing, I wanted my feet to be out a little bit more than normal. I don't think that's the case for this. So they're, my knees are a little bit higher on this. But anyway, side to side. So I brace a little bit, not a whole lot. And I go as far to one side as possible. That's, that's sucking right back here. But I think it'll clear up in a couple reps. Okay, let's jump back in for the 10th one. I don't know if it'll look any different, but it might. I feel like these are really, really useful to me for loosening up my back when it feels tight and sucky. And a few times lately, I, I, I would have thought a few years ago that it was hurt based on how it felt, but once I do this and loosen it up, it's like, okay, it was just tight. Anyway, I don't know if it'll look different or not. Okay, and now I've got uh, falling knees, I guess we can call them. And just relax, I start in the same position, brace a little bit, relax, and just let my knee fall to the side. Thankfully, it doesn't feel so great on that left one. It feels like it's tweaking my right erector every time that left knee falls, so. Uh, I'm through with trying to arch on bench for now. I don't know how to do it. I think it's jacking me up. As great as I felt after deadlift last time, I felt that sucky after bench press, and uh, I think I'm still feeling that right now. But anyway, uh, hamstring stretch. All right. I should have a wall one foot beside me behind me I don't oh well but stand a foot from a wall you can put a pillow between your knees and squeeze it to them together like fold it up a couple times and squeeze that together as you do it I haven't been doing that lately though I've just been trying to push my hips back and the goal would be push your hips back to touch the wall some of that same about three or four seconds on and then letting off a bit on the stretching all right i'm gonna stop filming for a sec but i'm going to touch my toes i always do okay here's the super secret hamstring stretch I like to have some kind of pad, that's what this is. I normally do this in between online Mario Kart races and carpet provides a sufficient pad. So I get a little bit of an angle so you can see. Anyway, I'm gonna pull the my toes up toward me. That's kind of key for the whole thing. And then just shift my hips back and forth. Mm. I'll go front view. And I'm not even feeling it much right now. It usually takes me a little bit to start feeling it. But yeah, now I'm starting to to the outside. Oh, yeah, that's horrible. But anyway, I usually do like 20 to 30 at a time. So yeah, that hamstring seems to be the most effective one that I've seen so far. I don't have to do it very often, maybe. I probably do it, I probably do it once a week more initially but at this point doing the touch my toes one is a good enough maintainer that once a week on that seems to be about all that i feel like i need um but anyway like i said 
Carly specializes, I mean, she's a physical therapist, but there are lots of kinds of those. She specializes in movement. So you want to see someone who specializes in movement. And she gave me these exercises after assessing me. She gave Andrew a different set of exercises after assessing him. So this is what I'm doing. It might help you out some, but probably the best idea would be to go so see someone who does what Carly does. Hope this helps.